It's a new season of Real School. And that means new stories and new hosts. Hi, I'm Vaishnavi. Hi, I'm D'Angelo. And I'm Lola. Watch this episode as we introduce you to this year's Real School crew and why they're so excited about this season. Speaking of TV, these Duval County students are making TV magic happen every day right from inside of their classroom. How they do it and why they say they're getting real world experience. Plus, they waited in line for hours for a chance to grab some free goodies. What time did you get here this morning? 6.15 a.m. What these Duval teachers were after and why they say coming here means saving big bucks in the classroom. And you may never guess by looking at him, but this Jacksonville Jaguars player says he knows what it's like to be picked on. I know how it feels to be young. I know how it feels to, you know, to be to be little. We're talking to Jaguars defensive back William Milton about bullying and why he's taking his message to one elementary school. You're watching Real School. I'm D'Angelo Moore, and welcome to this new season of Real School, where every month we'll show you all the new things going on inside of Duval County Schools. Pretty soon you're going to hear from my friends Lola and Vaishnavi. They're the other hosts of Real School. We're going to tell you about how we auditioned for the show. But first, let me ask you a question. What do a long line of teachers, glitter, and a stack of books all have in common? Well, you can find them at the Teacher Supply Depot. It's one of the few times you'll see this many teachers in one place. In fact, a lot of them brought fans with them just to stay cool in the summer heat. So why are they here? Well, my expectation is to get in there and uh, get what, uh, you know, what I need, supply for this my class. And why are they here so early? What time did you get here this morning? 6.15 a.m. Wow, is this your first time? No, last year I got here around 7.30 and I was 353, so I figured I might as well get here an hour earlier. These teachers are here because of what's on the inside of this building. Lots of free school supplies and the Teacher Supply Depot. A great giveaway right on time for the new school year. I'm actually an art teacher, and so I'm constantly struggling for supplies and quantity, and I get cardboard, egg cartons, paints, anything I could ever need for my classroom here. And Hundreds lined up waiting for the doors to open, and once they did, you need another bag? they were allowed to fill up three bags with as many supplies as they can fit inside. We have over 1,400 donors, businesses, particularly those businesses that are moving or that are uh, re renovating or downsizing. They have been giving us tons of stuff. These teachers lined up to get into this room full of high demand items. How many? One pack One pack. But these aren't the only things that teachers are after. Check this out. Teachers can get trophies, pill bottles, ribbons, blended turf, or they can get into this room where volunteers have collected bra straps that can be used for making arts and crafts. Yeah, I'm looking for, you know, anything for the classroom, you know, any binders, any, you know, organization, you know, things that I can use. Um, maybe some stuff to decorate the classroom, you know, to keep it organized and kind of make it, you know, a collective environment. Once teachers have shopped to their heart's desire, volunteers load everything into their cars. Teachers say they leave feeling satisfied, knowing they just save a lot of money. I usually spend on average $800 a year just on odds and ends, but if I didn't have this, easily $2,000. Easy. But also knowing everything they get here at the depot will help their students learn and grow this school year. By the way, the Teacher Supply Depot is open all year round for Duval County Public Schools employees. To get a list of days, visit DuvalSchools.org. Now I think it's time to switch gears to Lola. She's got a story every student needs to hear. Right, Lola? That's right, D'Angelo. And did you know that October is National Bullying Prevention Month? And bullying is something the district takes very seriously. But the district isn't alone. Just looking at Jaguars defensive back Will Middleton, you would never think he was picked on in school. But think again. I, I do remember when I was in, when I was in oh, middle yeah. school and somebody took my lunch money, somebody actually took my <laughs> gym shoes and my gym shorts, the football star spoke to a group of fifth graders at Enterprise Learning Academy. I have been there. I have been bullied. 
and I've been told that they are small, I've been called names, and it's not funny. He talked to them about the importance of treating other students the way you want to be treated, and to never, ever tolerate bullying. It means a lot, and it means a lot to me, because, you know, I, I was in their shoes at once, you know, I, and I know how it feels to be young, I know how it feels to, you know, to be, to be little, and I know how it feels, you know, to, to have somebody to look up to, and just for, for the opportunity to come out here and be able to do that, it, it you know, it, it, it moves me. I think it's safe to say the kids were a little starstruck meeting a famous football player, but Principal Sheridan Brown says they did a good job paying close attention. We said to them, what's one thing you're taking away from today? And I was amazed that they were able to say, get help if you need it. Sometimes I need help and it doesn't help me. What do I do next? And I'm not going to fight back. I'm going to use my words. Students didn't stop at just listening to him. They asked him a lot of questions. My dad actually talked to me about how to deal with boys. And what did he say? That you got to be strong. They related to the topic at hand, and I felt really good knowing that those kids were able to open up like that and even share some of their life experiences um, in, a, in a setting like that. So what that tells me is that if, if there is bullying goes on, that goes on or is happening, that they won't be afraid to speak out and to speak out for what's right. Turns out Middleton wasn't the only person impressed. We spoke to Cheryl Hall, a health education specialist for a district who arranged Middleton's visit. They not only get to see that he has a mission in his life that goes beyond the scope of football and that he has some strong convictions about the fact that bullying isn't something that we tolerate. I want you to take the understanding that you have to respect <laughs> other people around you. What I want is to, to get rid of bullying in school because I believe there is no place for it. If you believe you're being bullied or believe that bullying is taking place, the district wants to hear from you. Call the district's bullying hotline at 904-390-2043 or go to duvalschools.org and fill out a form. The district will investigate every claim and you can choose to remain anonymous. Before we get to our next story, I think it's time we talk a little bit about me. Don't you think so, Vaishnavi? Why not? I think what Lola means is that we're going to talk to you about the audition process for Real School and how we all got parts on this show. About a week after school started, the school district held auditions for their TV shows, Real School and School Matters. And would you believe 70 kids and their families showed up? That's more than ever before. We all got to go in front of the camera and read a short script from a teleprompter while several judges watched and scored our performances. We know they had a hard decision because there were so many talented kids. And this year, Lola, D'Angelo, and I were the three students selected to be your hosts. I've always been interested in acting acting and being on camera, so I thought I'd try out. I was kind of nervous because there, there were a lot of people showing up, but then again, I thought everyone was pretty nervous. At first, I wasn't expecting it, so then when I saw it, I got really excited. Well, my drama teacher had told me about it during class and it sounded like a really neat experience and I've always wanted to be on TV. I was really stoked because my principal had told me but I was about to try out for cheerleading so I was like, yay, but I have to focus on this. I would made the show and also I would made the cheerleading squad. <laughs> I always wanted to be on TV. It's like, it's like a dream come true. I jumped out of my seat and <laughs> did a little silly dance. I'm excited and still. So enough about us. Let's get back to the show. We have a lot more real school coming your way. Duval County students are getting books by the thousands and that's a reason to celebrate. We're taking a look at the Read It Forward Jacks campaign one year later. Plus, 
She's a teacher by day and an animal advocate in her spare time. Hear the story of one Duval County teacher who saved thousands of animals with the help of her students and other teachers. Real School will be right back. But first, here's a little bit of trivia. The month of October is full of interesting holidays and educational events. Can you guess which one of these does not fall in October? Is it A, World Teachers Day, B, International Walk to School Day, C, Columbus Day, or D, National Fix a Computer Day? We'll have the answer after the break. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ed Pratt Daniel, superintendent with Duval County Public Schools. And I want to remind our students as we begin the school year to get plenty of rest, to read each night, to get exercise each day, and to set and attain high goals. I'm Mayor Alvin Brown, and I want to encourage you to make sure you eat a healthy breakfast and attend school every day. You have to be in the game to win the game. I'm Jeremy Mincy, defensive end for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Respect yourself, your parents, your teachers, and your classmates. Success is a team effort. And I'm Sheriff John Rutherford. Make good choices, and remember that every decision you make has good and bad consequences. So choose your friends wisely, and don't give in to negative peer pressure. We all care. Welcome back to Real School. Right before the break, we asked you a trivia question. Which one of these events does not take place in the month of October? Do you have your guess? The answer is D, National Fix a Computer Day. It may be easy to find books in the library, but what about in your own home? The district wants to make sure that kids are reading as many books as they can at school and at home. And they're getting help from Read It Forward Jacks. Let's get wild about reading because it makes us super cool. You could think of this as a birthday party, the guest of honor, an innovative reading campaign that just turned a year old. We're also trying to keep the excitement going for Read It Forward Jacks. And what better place to celebrate a year of getting books for kids than at Highlands Elementary? The school went from an F to an A in just one year. Principal Kim Hayward tells us getting more students to read was a big part of the school's success. Reading was a huge part of that. We exposed our children to different types of genres, different level texts, and just different authors and books in general. And so we were able to create a love for reading to where they wanted to read at home and read here at school in their free time. So therefore, they increased their reading proficiency. Principal Kim Hayward says thanks to Read It Forward Jax. The school got more than $10,000 in donations to help them buy books. But it doesn't stop there. The entire school district has received $76,000 in donations and has given away 27,000 books. Board members like Paula Wright, Belle Lee, and Becky Couch were also part of the celebration. They remember Read It Forward Jacks from the beginning, and they're thrilled the campaign has gone so well. It's about an opportunity to teach and allow the students to go as far as they can. Everybody's not going to reach the same level, but each student to grow individually as far as they can. For them to be engaged and understand the importance of reading and finding things that they're interested in reading and us being able to provide that, I think it's just been a wonderful experience. It's a great feeling to know that our investment is paying off, um, to know that the community has really embraced Read It Forward Jacksonville. And what would a Read It Forward Jack celebration be without some good books? At the end of the celebration, students got to leave with a Read It Forward Jacks bag full of books and other goodies. And we could tell these students were ready to read. It's pretty good that they donated books to the school. I like to read, so I, I read a lot of chapter books. And so sometimes I will like read chapter books like when I have like free time. For more on Read It Forward Jacks, including how you can donate, go to readitforwardjacks.org. Getting to be on TV while you're still in school is a really neat experience. Lola's got the scoop on one program that's putting teens behind the news desk. Every month on Real School, we would like to highlight some TV productions that schools are doing to help kids achieve their goals. And this month, we're going to a school that's teaching the kids everything about the news. 
It may not look much like a classroom, but this is Charles Tullington's TV production class. Students are getting ready for a big show, looking over scripts, setting up equipment, and making sure the microphones are working. Casting one, two, three. One, two, three, casting. These students are putting on the morning announcements at Frank H. Peterson Academies of Technology. And this is the Silver Eagle News. It makes me proud. It's um, one of those things where you aim to make them work together and then they get to a point where they end up kicking you out of the control room because they enjoy doing it so much that uh, but we don't need you Mr. Ting. Every day students in this production class are learning the ins and outs of what it takes to put together a show. That means they're learning how to shoot and edit video on programs like Adobe Premiere Pro. They are learning how to write news stories, work behind the scenes, and deliver the news. I think it's just amazing that I could just come and do the news and just work with all the equipment that we have to work with. For me to be able to wake up every morning and um, just pretty much know that I'm going to be anchoring the news at school, it just pretty much prepares me for the field that I'm trying to go into. The Silver Eagle News runs every morning throughout the entire school. Students talk about important events, the weather forecast, and even what's on the lunch menu. Mr. Tullington says that kids are getting a lot more out of this than just a good time. They're getting real-world experience that will put them ahead once they get to college. Well, number one, financially, they can get an industry certification. And for instance, here we offer Adobe Premiere Pro. And it would cost upwards of $1,000 if they had to take the college course and the certification exam when they got to college. So it, it's something that they can take advantage of while they're here. And, and really their heads above all the other applicants if they go to work. Mr. Tullington says that he's had a lot of students move on to get jobs in the TV business, so he knows this program really works. This is the um, type of field that I want to go to when I get older, so it, it really just brings the light and joy out of me because um, I really want to anchor the news. It just definitely has brought my eyes and it opened me up to all these different little aspects of TV that I've never known before. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. We're almost done with real school. Coming up, D'Angelo has more on a new program at Andrew Jackson High School, sure to help a lot of students succeed. And a teacher who loves working with animals just as much as she loves working with kids. We've got those stories coming up next, but first, here's some trivia. On October 28th, more than 100 years ago, a well-known American monument was dedicated by President Grover Cleveland. Which one was it? A, the Lincoln Memorial, B, Mount Rushmore, C, the Statue of Liberty, or D, the Grand Canyon? We'll have that answer after the break. It's an accelerated program for kids that are interested in academia. Interested in academia. I was accepted into Princeton. Liberty University. The University of Florida. By earning college credit, so I will be able to save money and enter that college ahead of the program. Duval County is trying to do with all these different programs is perfect for the student who wants to be challenged. Hey guys, D'Angelo here. Right before the break, we asked you which of these well-known American monuments was officially dedicated by President Grover Cleveland more than 100 years ago. If you guess C, the Statue of Liberty, you're correct. The next time you visit Andrew Jackson High School, don't be surprised if you see a lot of red. And I'm not talking about school colors. I'm talking about the red t-shirts and red jackets of City Year. They wear these jackets with pride, knowing that they are here to make a difference. So I'm actually uh, really expecting a lot to, to really happen with uh, Andrew Jackson. We've already seen uh, the students reacting to us in a positive manner. This is the city year room at Andrew Jackson High School, and you can see the walls are covered with inspirational signs to keep them motivated. But a lot of their work will happen outside of this room as they set out to support teachers and work closely with students. We are near peer mentors, um, and so we function sort of in multiple ways as a friend, a coach, and a teacher. Um, and so we are not necessarily teachers, we're not necessarily fully coaches or not necessarily fully friends, but sort of a conglomerate of the three. 
City Year is a nationwide program that's been supported by many of our presidents, including President Barack Obama. The goal is to help get students up to speed and on track to graduate. It makes sense that a, a, a teacher with 25 or 30 kids can't give an individualized lesson every single day, so we're there to just kind of hone in on where kids are struggling and where they just need that extra focus, and uh, we're there to provide it. So. Here's how they do it. City is all about ABCs, that is, attendance, behavior, and course performance. City Year focuses on helping students who are off track grades three through nine. But because City Year just got started in Jacksonville, they are working with students in grades six through nine at Matthew Gilbert Middle School and Andrew Jackson High School. Data has shown that at ninth grade, if they're able to reach the 10th grade on track and on time, then they're more likely to graduate. So we like to grab them right at ninth grade and just really work with them. Right now, there are a total of 20 City Year core members here in Jacksonville. The goal next year is to have 50. But now, they say they're just excited to help in any way they can. And we're there to provide them academic support, but also to provide them support as a person and to ask them how they're doing at home and whether they eat breakfast and how, how things are going, letting them know that although their academics do matter, their development as a person matters just as much. Now we've come to our final story on real school. Vaishnavi is here to tell you about a teacher making a big difference in and out of the classroom. Hi, D'Angelo. This teacher is passionate about pets, and she's getting her students and fellow teachers involved. Anna McReynolds says she'll do anything for her students, even taking a pie to the face or dressing up as a mad scientist. But every Saturday, you can find the King's Trail Elementary teacher here at Petco, surrounded by animals, like Daisy, a friendly dog with only three legs. Or Eddie, Anna says she found him with tape around his nose, but you can tell he's getting much better. The plain dogs, the older dogs, the dogs that need heartworm treatment, uh, which is most of them at the shelters. The ones that have something wrong cosmetically that nobody will take that dog, that's the one that I like. This is Anna's Angels. It's a nonprofit organization Anna started almost 10 years ago and is on its way to adopting out 2,500 pets. She says she spends a lot of time nursing abused or injured cats and dogs back to health. And by the looks of all these animals, you can tell they're doing pretty well. But she doesn't do it all by herself. Students like Kale Ivy are happy to help. You know, it's sad to see the dogs when they come up here with, you know, nine ticks and stuff like that on them. Miss Anna is really nice about it. She really, um, you know, makes sure that the dogs are taken care of, makes sure that we're taken care of. Um, and, you know, every dog that we get is really treated well. Morgan Maxwell, another student, has been volunteering with Anna for about a year. The dogs definitely keep me coming out here, just like seeing how happy they are when we rescue them from shelters and how excited they get just to see us every Saturday definitely brings me out here. Plenty of teachers come out here too. They not only help with the pets, but also with helping Anna raise money to be able to take care of all of the animals. With all of the hard work that comes along with this and teaching, we wonder, how does Anna do it? I love kids and I love animals, so if I can combine both of them, like on Saturday, I can do that. But, I mean, it's hard to run a 501c3 and run a classroom, but I like both, so it's not really work. It's, I like doing what I do every day. So, and I think if you get up in the morning and you do what makes the world better, and then when you go to bed and you're tired, and it's a good kind of tired, and you feel like you accomplished something for the day, then you're really living your life. What a cool teacher and a good story. Well, that's it for Real School. I hope you had fun watching our first episode of the season. And before we go, I think Lola and D'Angelo want to say goodbye too. And don't forget, you can always visit doallschools.org for the latest school news. From all of us, thanks for watching.